Good morning everyone, I'm Daryl Elliott Green. I'm going to tell you about the first time I spoke in public. I moved from Nunda Primary School to Brisbane State High School, which is a prestigious school uh, in, in Brisbane. It was grade eight and we had to give an oral presentation and I was uh, a little bit apprehensive about it, but I wanted to prepare and plan. So you could choose just about anything you want. So I choose, chose the Union Carbine Disaster in India. Fascinating. Love facts. Love my history. Love my data. Love you know, a little bit of, bit of death, death and gore. Do all my research. And then I looked in how do you speak in public and what was in vogue at that time? Palm cards. You write your notes down. I thought this will be a little handy thing for me to do. So what did I do? Write the notes down, put them away. And then the big day comes. So I'm sat there on my chair. And oh, I was really nervous. My hands were like this clenched. And what did they say? Who would like to go first? What did I do? Sure. I want to get this pain over and done with. And so out I come. Let's start up here. Now, these are only supposed to be a prompt. And so I have a bit of a look. And so I go, oh, good morning, Daryl. I'm here to speak to you about the... Oh, drop the card. Sorry. <laughs> Put the cards back. Oh, and then 200... Oh, the cards... Are what did I do? English class, I went to profanities. I swore. And the teachers come up to me, put my arm around me, said, Daryl, just better sit down and get calm and composed. <laughs> I went and sat back down. I come back up eventually at the end, and what did I do? Good morning, I'm Daryl Elliott Green. The Union Carbine disaster took place on this date and so many pieces. But what did I learn from that experience? The very next year, I had to do the same thing. It was history class. I had to choose a subject, speak in public. I was really nervous about it. So what did I do? Did I run away, hide from it, not talk about it? Nope. I chose a subject I love, again history, it was the history of gunpowder, wrote out a beautiful article and I got up and I spoke for 20 minutes non-stop perfectly because I memorised the entire talk, went for 20 minutes. So that's just a little bit, show you a little bit of insight into my personality that I haven't feared failure, I've always learnt from it.